How you doing, uh, people up there on YouTube? Uh, this time I'm going to show you a uh, couple of tips, a couple of suggestions about, and you have to have the uh, oil change every uh, 3,000 miles on it. This is the reason this engine came off uh, 2004 uh, Toyota Sienna, and then we do a little, uh, you know, research about this. If you look at it, see how much it's the uh, stuff in here. Out here, if you look at it closer, they because they never change the oil. See this? So I suggest that you guys gotta do oil change, and uh, that's a couple of tips. Then your your engine is gonna be a little more life. This vehicle. The owners, uh, looks like they never do maintenance on it, and which I recommend it, you know, hardly recommend it, especially in this engine's Toyota. <clears throat> um, and also, I find out they said they put, uh, they added 2050 uh, oil, so it's too thick, way too thick, so that cows in the uh. The pump never, uh, it takes too long to the pump, uh, you know, lubricate top of the engine by the uh, camshaft and all that stuff. If you look at closer, it's all the way clogged. It's only this area right here. Um, it's only, uh, you know, letting the oil go through. Uh, the rest of them, it's all bunch of, you know, really way duty. What I'm gonna do in this this one, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna remove the crankshaft because that's already knocking. The engine is knocking because there's no lubrication. <clears throat> the oil is too thick, and it causing <clears throat> the engine causing uh, you know several damage on the engine. So now uh, we have to overhaul the whole engine. Uh, <clears throat> everything else is fine except the knocking start, just the start. You know, uh, but <clears throat> the uh, the damage is already on. Uh, and my suggestion, I can rebuild the engine. Some and other people uh, don't want to rebuild. They want to just brand another one and throw in it. Uh, every you know, everybody's different. I I'm gonna remove. I did remove, and I'm gonna remove parts and then rebuild. Send uh, crankshaft to the local shaft, so they're gonna go undersize. And uh, we have to buy, uh, you know, uh, rod bearings and crankshaft bearings. So whole set. <clears throat> and, uh, but you know, <clears throat> one more thing. Uh, this is the reason why you have to do uh, oil change. This looks like it's never, well, really long time the vehicle running with the old oil. And probably, well, d definitely it's old oil. And uh, I, <clears throat> I'm thinking we have to replace the uh, oil pump, which is in this area right here. Um, so that is it. Uh, that's a couple of things. Then you can, you know, it don't take too much, too longer. You know, it's not really hard and do. You can even you can do it yourself. Uh, replace, uh, you know, change your oil change your filter and you know you can save money that's the main thing save money because now this this people is going to pay you know a whole repair and then cost much money than you know five cores of oil and and that's it and a filter so um everybody up there you know just keep in mind uh do maintenance it's way cheaper than all this stuff this engine it came from 2004 uh Toyota Sienna and uh, it's visible the damage is already on this a lot of material inside the in the pan and it looks like it's dark stuff in here which is you know no oil change at all for a long long time and always use your recommended oil uh, <clears throat> for the engine never you know Never go too thick oil because it'll it'll damage your engine sooner or later. Thanks.